Hey guys, welcome to uh, Designing with Easy View Online Designer as we wait for some peeps to join us in here. Um, I'll take this time to introduce myself. This is the first uh, Stalls uh, Heat Press for Profit event that I'm very, very happy to be a part of. My name is Dave Connor. I work here at Stalls Transfer Express in our marketing department. And I've been in the printing industry for uh, the better part of a decade now, uh, from everything that's apparel printing and decoration to business cards and offset printing, uh, adhesive printing with stickers, dye sublimation, direct to garment, uh, pretty much any way that you could put ink on a substrate, um, I've worked with it or helped market it. So it's so great to see so many of you joining us today. I will say that I am absolutely floored by your dedication to bettering yourself and your t-shirt business. If you're just thinking about starting one, or maybe you've just started one and you're still trying to figure out the ropes, the one thing that I absolutely love about Stalls and Transfer Express is our dedication to you guys. And we absolutely just love giving you, you know, all the information on current trends or helpful hints uh, on how to use products, on how you could decorate trendy apparel, just the whole entire gamut of what we're doing. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, and, you know, it's it's a little scary sometimes starting something new. And, you know, it's, it's great to see you guys so dedicated here, wanting to learn uh, more and, you know, push yourself further in your own entrepreneurial spirit. So cheers to you right off the bat. But this course is going to be about using the easy view online designer at transferexpress.com. So we are going to be covering a whole bunch of stuff today. So we'll just go over a quick agenda here before we really dive in. Now we only have 50 minutes in this session today. Um, and I'm going to let you know that I could go on for literally three hours on easy. View. I have a background in graphic design and art. Um, and that's how I got into the uh, printing world. Essentially, I was screen printing posters and t-shirts for bands in my basement uh, and in my garage, and then started working at an offset printing company and eventually here at Stalls Transfer Express. But I will tell you one thing. If I could start from the beginning and do it all over, I wouldn't be worrying about inks or emulsion or off contact or the viscosity of inks or worrying about uh, you know exposure times. There's so many times that I was trying to screen print and just ran into so many walls, so much frustration and so much money that I spent trying to solve these problems that are literally solved and were solved back then. I just didn't know about Transfer Express. And Transfer Express, what we do is if you've been a part of other sessions and you've heard uh, Kelly or uh, Jennifer or even Josh talk about our products, they are Plastisol, ink screen printed transfers that we ship to you on a release carrier and you apply them with your heat press. But the end finished result is exactly the same as if you direct screen printed without the hassle of all the mess of, of cleaning out screens or reclaiming them and the inks and emulsion that I mentioned earlier. So this is just a super easy, almost on-demand way that you could produce retail ready, custom screen printed t-shirts with just a heat press and our goof proof applies in just four seconds. So. That all aside, we're going to be covering what is Easy View Online Designer today. We're going to be covering the basic tools and features of this online web-based program. That's right. Absolutely no subscription, no uh, programs or apps that you need to download. We're going to be talking about the 10,000 plus customizable layout, layouts and clip art in the program that you could use for absolutely free. We're going to talk about how you could size, resize, apply effects, uh, distressing or even patterns to your artwork. We'll be talking about the cost saving advantage of using gang sheets with your screen printed transfers. So if you did purchase our uh, marketing kit that was available, and now we do have a very limited quantity that we've opened back up to attendees today for a very, very special price where you could take advantage of both the stalls and transfer express marketing kit. You're getting the best of both worlds of uh vinyl decoration and also screen prints. So you get just, it's a t-shirt business in a box, essentially all of the tools you need to sell custom printing yourself. So one of the uh, included transfers in that sheet is this gang sheet. So this uh, does say, I'd rather be camping, green belt campground. Um, and this is maize and white. You could tell that also in the kit, 
you received one of these uh, identifiers for the marketing kit and all of the transfer samples that you received. So it's this one right here. And right underneath, it does say it's layout key on mass 184 and in white and maize. So right here, we know that this is white and maize. But this is a gang sheet. There's multiple pieces of artwork all on that one sheet. We're going to also talk about how you could get instant pricing in EasyView Online Designer, configure your transfers, and then you're even able to mock up and order bulk wholesale apparel all from one program on one site uh, without needing a tax ID or a business license or anything like that that the other uh, suppliers uh, do require most of the time. So without further ado, let's get diving in. So I do also have a helper with me today, uh, the wonderful Liz Reedy. She is working behind the scenes to answer your questions. So if you have any questions at all, just go ahead and leave the comment uh, right there in the event page, uh, and we are going to try to answer that. Uh, we'll take a little bit of Q&A once we try to run through as much as we can, or if there's a really important question, Liz is going to bubble that up, and we could answer that live for you today. But again, Thank you guys for attending all of starting a t-shirt business from home here with Stalls. So Easy View Online Designer is a completely online program. No prior art experience required. So don't worry if you don't know how to use Photoshop or Illustrator or Corel Draw. Uh, it is absolutely free with an account at transferexpress.com. Now account, you have to create an account at transferexpress.com even if you do have a Stalls account because they are separate websites and it just makes things a little bit easier. I know it's harder on you guys and I do apologize. We're working to try to consolidate everything uh, down the road, but with just so much going on, uh, we want you to be able to use this program right away. So all you have to do is create a free, free account. Now it will ask you if you do have a tax ID so that we don't charge you sales tax on your account. Don't worry if you don't have anything, you don't have to put anything in there. Just put your address and uh, you know just the information we're gonna need if you order transfers. No credit card or deposit is needed at all or on file for you to be able to use Easy View Online Designer. There's no monthly subscription. Uh, it is free in perpetuity. You could work in there and not order transfers or you could work in there and customize layouts, which is another thing that is included in the marketing kit. I told you guys, this is a t-shirt business in a box. So you also have, you have a customized idea book and then you also have these black and white idea books. So in these idea books, it does have all of the layouts. So you could use this to pitch to a client if you go to a coffee shop or something, sit down with them, or if you are looking at having a storefront or just even a Zoom meeting, we do have easyprints.com, which is just this booklet. Now your customized booklet in the marketing kit, if you do purchase one, or if you did purchase one, will have your name here instead of Transfer Express. On the back, it does not say Transfer Express. So you have no idea where this is coming from. It is just tons of layouts and clip art from every Everything from sports. It's all categorized on the side and the big binder version has it. There's clip art in there and everything in here too. So all of this you can pull in right into Easy View Online Designer and you then you could customize it right for your customer and shoot them a proof in a matter of minutes. Super, super cool. There are 7,000 fully customizable layouts that I'm going to jump into Easy View Online Designer and show you here in just a minute. There are also 200 plus custom fonts that you could switch out and use yourself. It's all really super easy to be able to do that. So we are going to show you that. Now, we also have a completely browser-based interface. So you could access this from mobile. While it is a little bit more tricky to design on mobile, you absolutely can do it. You could upload your own files too. Uh, you could use it on your iPads or your Microsoft Surface tablets. It works really good, but it also works great on a desktop computer. All you need to do is if you have access to the internet, if you're going to a library, or if you are on site or you're on uh, one of your customers or prospective customers' computers, you could pull up all this right in live time. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you could log into transferexpress.com, you could be customizing your art in EasyView Online Designer. Now, of course, with our customizable layouts that are available here in the idea book that I just showed you, they all have numbers like I showed you on the sheet that say what they are. So here's just occasions. Um, this is autism shirt and there is uh, the layout number. So you could always reference this and go immediately right back to EasyView Online Designer and you can 
uh, just easily pull up that layout and be able to change it for anything you need. So everything's coded in here that you're able to pull back in Easy View Online Designer. Now you can customize the text, the fonts, the layouts, the tons of stuff that you need in there. It's all available and you could all, uh, it's, it's so easy. Um, I can't wait to jump in and show you guys. Um, you could also add distressing and effects or patterns to almost anything in there. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on over to transferexpress.com. Come along with me here. So here you should now see transferexpress.com. So um, here at Transfer Express, if you see Transfer Express here, I just want to make sure I am screen sharing the right, um, the right, right screen here. So I apologize. Let me go back over here and we'll grab this screen. All right, everything working properly here now. So this is transferexpress.com. So this is just the homepage right when you land transferexpress.com design center. You could click on design center or you could click on start designing right here. So this is going to take us into the online designer. You have a nice little menu right here and you could go ahead and exit this out uh, if needed. You, we, we don't need it right now. I'm just so excited to be able to show you the tools available here in Easy View Online Designer. So here on the left-hand side, you have all of your ad elements. So um, I am talking, um, you have the add your text, you have add clip art, you have add layout, and add your own art if you are uploading your own files. So you can uh, do all that stuff that I mentioned all easy, just right here. So I'll show you add text, puts new text on the screen. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and delete this using this trash can. Add clip arts accesses this entire library of clip arts that's also available uh, in an abbreviated version in that idea book. And so we'll exit this out as well. Then we could also go to add layout. Now this is where my favorite part is. So even as a designer, I could spend, you know, 20 minutes to 40 minutes really kind of working through uh, just a design like this one. So uh, Compton Apparel, somebody comes to me and says, I just want some text at a slight arch, uh, put some stars or something in the middle and just, uh, you know, just something super basic. I just want text, but make it look cool. So what I could do is browse the idea book or browse here in Easy View Online Designer and I could take this artwork, customize it for what they need without even going into Illustrator and trying to conceptualize and design this out, saving me time and money. And as a, you know, I, I, uh, as a graphic designer who's been in the industry for 15 plus years or designing for 15 plus years, this is just such an awesome profit saver for me because it's saving me time where I could just go in here pick a layout that I think relates to what they want, swap the information out. So let's just say uh, they want they want this to say Cleveland. We're here in Menor, Ohio at Transfer Express. So you can easily change things. Cleveland, we could say um, quality tees, all of this. It's just so easy to swap all this stuff out. Uh, and boom, there we have it. Uh, established. Uh, we don't want that one. We want established. So we'll grab... Uh, here, established, 1999, done. That's good. That's up there. Now nah, we don't like the stars. Let's lose them. We can pull those out. And that's just how easy it is. Now we have a layout in, what was that, less than a minute or two that we could proof with our customer and be on the way to making money. Now, just starting out, you don't need to invest hours and hours into learning Photoshop. There is almost Nothing that you can't do here in Easy View Online Designer. So what I want to do is then walk you through more tools here. So you saw me go up to this top bar. So the top bar is, uh, I call it the toolbar. So you have your, your add stuff on the left side of the screen here. And then the top toolbar is exactly that. It's a toolbar. So you have your undo and redo buttons right here at the top. You have object controls. So you can add effects or add distressing. You could apply patterns duplicate, mirror, group, or ungroup, just like you can in Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, Photoshop, anything like that. 
You could delete and you could also select all. Now, if you are familiar with a little bit of Photoshop and Illustrator, a lot of those same keyboard shortcuts do carry over. And we have an entire list of them on our blog at blog.transferexpress.com or in the help center section on transferexpress.com itself. So you could be super fast and work exactly like a pro in just a couple hours playing around here in Easy View Online Designer if you do want to get super, super custom with it. Um, you do also have align tools. So it really, really helps to, if you're trying to align things up in your custom building text, you could pull it all in there. Now, one other cool thing um, that I could mention is right down here at the bottom left hand side, there is show grid lines. So this gives you uh, a a uh, nice grid that you could align things to, to make sure everything's visually centered if maybe the uh, alignment tools aren't working. So I could just show you this uh, in kind of practice here. So if we have this truck, we'll pull this truck in with the pumpkins. We will make it a little bit bigger so we could see it a little bit better. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add some text. Let's change the font. This is how easy it is. All of your ad stuff here on the left-hand side, like I mentioned. So we could say what the text says. So let's say uh, this is just the pumpkin truck. How about that? We like pumpkin trucks. It's the time of the season. And then we could drop this down. And this is where all of those free to use fonts are all right in here. So uh, this athletic script just caught my eye. So let's change it to pumpkin truck. Boom. And say it's a little bit off center like that now. So we could grab everything here, align, throw it to the center, and it's going to center them up with each other. So you could kind of see where we were, where everything's kind of off kilter, and again, redo everything centered with itself. And then I'm just bringing it to the center of our sheet. If you didn't notice already, right here on the screen, we have a dotted line. So that is showing us our sheet size. When I talked about gang sheets earlier and showed you this full gang sheet, uh, if you can still see my little tiny, uh, my little tiny talking head there, um, the full gang sheet is built on this 11 and a half by 14 inch sheet. Now, primarily today, I'm going to be talking about our Plastisol screen printed transfers. They're ordered by the spot color, which then you could see right here on the left hand side, it's all black. So uh, if we wanted to change it to Carolina blue or any of our 70 plus standard ink colors, they are all listed right here. Now, if you do have a client that's like, nah, my Pantone color is 2935. Like, okay, boom, 2935. That's going to pull it in as a custom Pantone match. And we will mix the inks to produce these transfers to that 2935. It's only a $25 fee for custom matching. But I found personally our 70 plus ink colors uh, make it really, really super easy to be able to match to. Um, 70 is just a high, super, super high number. Um, and also in your marketing kit that you purchased, uh, there is a color selector swatch book. So this actually takes 102 physical screen printing screens to be able to produce one of these. So it is super, super high value. And you could have uh, the actual swatches of Plastisol ink printed on fabric. So that is included in the marketing kit as well. This is a $20 value. So it's already a major portion of that marketing kit. You're going to get a t-shirt and 30 free custom samples, tons of vinyl that you're able to use along with those helpful idea books that help you sell custom printing. How cool is that, right? So action-packed and value-packed. So Back to Easy View Online Designer, we have to cover the right-hand side. So let's bring our little truck back, at least so we have some artwork here for now before we start building that full gang sheet. So this is just one artwork, and uh, we'll go over to our right-hand side. So the right-hand side, I like to call the transfer configurator. Now, this is where you are able to order and configure the product that you want. So here at the top, I told you we're going to be working on our screen printed transfers. So we're going to go to our screen print as a print method. We also have available our digital CAD prints, which are a print and cut vinyl, a uh, full color, which is our ultra color line. Really, really, really exciting product that is completely limitless, but it gets a little bit more confusing into the product offerings with sheet sizes or individual images. Not too confusing, but it's, it's a little bit more broader of a scope. It's much easier to use a lot of the examples when I'm just doing a brief overview of Easy Live Online Designer to keep it to the screen print because all of our screen printed transfers come on that 11 and a half by 14 inch gang sheet. So we've selected screen print. 
You could also go down to non-apparel and actually order stickers and window decals from here too. Super cool, right? So all of this entire catalog of art you could use without buying an SVG library or specifically buying uh, artwork off Etsy or uh, having a designer design it for you. You could do it all here uh, and all at Transfer Express, all on the web. It's all browser-based. So it's really, really super powerful tool that you could take advantage of. And I just, if you just like playing around with it, it is absolutely no risk, no obligation. Go, go ahead and go sign up at transferexpress.com if you don't already have an account. And you could play with this too. You'll play along with me as we go through the rest of this session. So um, the 30 minutes that we have left of this session. So let's get down to it, get back to it. Um, we're going to select our fabric. So one thing here, when you're doing any custom transfers, like you may have noticed with the sessions that have already come through today, uh, we're going to have different fabric types. So at Transfer Express, we want you to have the best experience possible and want your transfers to work. So if you select here that we're using our goof proof, which is our most popular, just bare bones basic, it's called goof proof because it you it's so super easy to apply. Applies at the low temperature of 325 or all the way up to 365 in as low as four seconds. And it's a hot peel, so it's just super, super quick. I have a session coming up uh, a little bit later in the afternoon, uh, evening, seven o'clock with Jenna. We're gonna be talking about printing more than just t-shirts and you could watch me apply the goof proof transfer uh, super, super quick. So uh, we're gonna pick goof proof. I don't wanna skip over that. But if say we picked uh, nylon or sublimation or even 100% polyester, our customer service team is going to see this order come through and, and, and reach out to you and say, hey, Printing on this material, goof proof is not recommended. So anyone for polyester, it's it's perfectly fine recommended. Just the heat sensitive ones, you're going to have to watch out because 325 is still a little hot. But I don't want to get too off track. Uh, we're already already going through a lot. I still have so much more to go through. Um, if I don't get through everything today, we do have an hour and a half plus long, uh, easy view kind of training session on the Transfer Express YouTube channel as well. Um, so that's just youtube.com slash transfer express. We have just a ton of videos, just like Stalls TV, if you're familiar. And if you're not already subscribed to Transfer Express or Stalls TV, head on over to YouTube and subscribe because we are putting out information on how you could help your t-shirt business. Um, and even we just covered some seasonal trends with what we've been seeing with hoodie sales and uh, the decoration methods. So it's just a whole bunch of information that we put out there for absolutely free for you guys to have a better experience and a more successful apparel decorating business. So it's all for you guys. So uh, make sure you go over there. So here, let's just say we're putting on 100% cotton, uh, cotton poly blends or 100% polyester for our goof proof screen printed transfers. So here we're gonna go here. Um, we're gonna start changing some colors. So I don't wanna go too far into that, but you also have your quantity. You have color changes, which I'll mention in just a little while and also order notes. If there's anything in here, like I, I can't figure out how to make these pumpkins a different color. Can you guys make the pumpkins orange? Just let us know in the notes section right here. Pumpkins orange and bam, we're all set. So let's pull this all back and we'll start back from the beginning. So I'm just going to select all of this and go ahead and delete it. Now, if you don't have an idea book or maybe you're, you know, you don't want, you don't have the time to browse and you're looking for something a little bit more targeted. So let's just say we're going to recreate this entire gang sheet that came in your marketing kit. Let's go ahead and add layout. So we're gonna start with the main layout here. As you can see here, there are just a ton of layouts, the best sellers, what's currently trending, uh, legs, sleeve prints, any local pride that you could easily use. You could swap out your own state for some of these. Uh, but it, this Michigan one looks real cool. But you could change the text on all of these. You could change the clip art. You could change anything you want. So if you just like the layout here, this Compton Modern, you could easily change it to whatever you want. For our specific example today, um, I don't know exactly where to find it. So I'm just going to type in camp up at top in the search bar right up here. So um, I'm broadcasting out, so I apologize because this is all browser-based and it's it's based on your internet, uh, so the upload and download speed. So I think as I am uh, also video chatting from my computer that uh, that my, uh, <laughs> my, my easy view is lagging a little bit behind because my internet connection. So usually this is fairly quick and fast. So uh, we'll just search camp here again. 
and, and network error occurred. Thank you. Oh, and it still pulled it up. Okay, cool. So um, here, let's go with this main graphic right here that's on our gang sheet that you received in your kit. So it says, I'd rather be camping as the main, uh, the main graphic here. And Liz, do we have any questions coming in that I could answer for you? Um, the questions that came in have been answered. Everything looks good so far. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, so I, if you guys do have any questions, more than happy to answer them. Liz is just super, super knowledgeable and uh, she's got them all handled, apparently. <laughs> so here we have our artwork that came in. So I'm just gonna move this over to the side of our gang sheet. Uh, this one, right, you could see on our left-hand side, our artwork tools, it's at 9.7 inches wide by 11 inches high, which fits perfectly on, again, our 11 and a half by 14 inch gang sheet. So if you are looking at the sample that you have that you bought in your kit and go, wait, this is two colors. This is how we're going to do it. So if this entire thing came grouped together, which it is very much not, you could grab each one of these elements. So just like I was talking about before, you could go ahead and delete things or uh, if you wanted to change this. So uh, the first thing on our list to change is this actually says green belt campground. So let's just change it over to green belt campground. So I just double clicked on the text here. And just like this, so you just double click on the text and it brings up this edit text menu. Also, another way to do it is you could just click on it and go right over here to the left-hand side and change it there. So if you were like, uh, no, this needs to be October, 2021, you could see all those changes go into effect right here. But we wanna keep it the same because we're gonna try to match this gang sheet. So we're just gonna go back and change side rather be camping. I would rather be camping. Nope, I would rather be here with you. What are you, I'm just joking with you guys. So here, let's grab the elements that we wanna change to our second color. Now on our sheet, we saw that that was white and maize. So I'm just going through and grabbing all these and you see this color ink here. So we're gonna go down all the way to our maize color and swap this over to maize. Now, um, we could also use our white, but our background here is this gray. Over on our right-hand side in that transfer configurator, we could change that color. So let's go ahead and just change this color down to like a midnight blue. So now the black's a little bit harder to see, but what we could do here with this set, this on the left-hand side is showing us that we have maize and we have black in our artwork. So we just select the black, change it over to white, and all of the black ink switches over to white, which just makes it Super, super easy when you need to make those changes if you're switching colorways or what. So here we are. This is exactly the file as it appears on that gang sheet ready to go. Now, granted, we only changed one little line of text, but say uh, you wanted, you don't like this tent. You could go right up here to replace clip art and select clip art to replace it with. So if it wasn't going to be camping or ooh, like Halloween, we could grab this little uh, pot kettle, which is brew and throw this one right here. So I'd rather be making potions and spells for Halloween, <laughs> right? But I just showed you how easy that is to customize these. Now say, oh, I, you know, I didn't like that tent, but I want to use my own tent. You could do it as well. Now, Easy View Online Designer is great for using our art, but you could also easily upload your own art as well. So right here in that ad section, I talked about add your own artwork and we could just choose files. So we'll go here. I have this tent in both a PNG and an AI format. You could upload both of them. So if I use the tent logo, it's going to pull it into what we call our image editor. So right here on the left-hand side, it's showing us our original. Now, if you're doing a full color transfer and you're uploading a photograph that our full color transfers can reproduce, you would just click here, choose original. But if you're using spot color, you're going to use the spot color version. So you would click use spot color version like we did right there. Now it wants to pull in using three colors, which gives us this little kind of funky line in here. And you could say it's you know default high or max quality. It's just gonna take longer for our system to render that because it's pulling all of the pixels that are in the PNG file on the left-hand side and making it a full raster graphic. So let's just quickly say it's one, reprocess this, and you'll see that we get an awesome, sharp looking uh, design right here. Did I click that? Nope, there it goes. So there we go. Nice and sharp, looks perfect. We could add this then to our file. 
Now we can just go here. You see this is an exclamation point because it is not a standard ink color. So let's go and just change it to white. You could swap this one, pull it right on over in there, um, recolor it as needed. But we don't need that. We'll delete that. Uh, we'll just do undo, undo, undo. Um, and hopefully we have enough undos here as this comes through. And there's our witch's brew. And we'll get back to our tent. Bam, there we go. Now, once we'll say this that this is for the front of our t-shirt. But once we have the front done, let's add some other artwork on this sheet and build what we call a gang sheet. Now, this is where you truly maximize your profit. So let's just use this for example. We need 36 of this shirt. So a pretty big order for an at-home business, but that is one that you could really pack on the profit. So looking at this on the right-hand side, let's say we need 36 quantity of this image at 9.7 by 11, right? So that is putting us at just $4.70 per sheet with a two-color artwork. So that is already, you're talking, if the blank's $2, this is $4.77 per image for a two-color print. You're talking, uh, you know, a total of $7 rounded up for your cost. You're selling these shirts at 36 quantity, um, you're probably selling them at least at uh, 14 or 15 bucks a piece custom printed. Um, and that's at that wholesale 36 quantity. So um, this is just an awesome way that you could get this, um, this, this just full front graphic. But one way to reduce that even more is throw on artwork for other products. If we're talking, we're printing hats, or maybe you're doing polos and you need a left chest graphic, let's throw one on there as well. So let's go ahead and add new layout. Now we see uh, this one right here. So this Compton, welcome to Compton Outdoor Ed. Um, we'll pull this one here. So you see this one pulls in actually with a distressed pattern on that. So um, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see that distressed pattern as it is. Um, and it all loads up. Now I did throw a distressing over everything here. So what we could do is just right here on the left-hand side, your uh, you know, add tools, we'll say, and your inks, we'll just click on distress, turn the distressing off. It turns it off for all of these products. Now that you see, um, we just have this here. Let's make this white and bam, no distressing on that at all. If you did want to add the distressing back again, you could show special effects. Um, there's the special effects here, but we could also click on distressing. So there's one, two, three, four, five total distressing patterns. And we're adding new artwork and patterns, layouts, and clip art weekly into this program. And we always take requests. So if you say, hey, I don't see enough snake artwork in here. We have a snake uh, that's the you know local high school logo that everybody wants. Um, and there's not really anything that looks like a scary snake in here. Uh, just let us know. And we have a full staff of designers working around the clock on putting trending new artwork in here and evolving with styles. Now, we keep a lot of the old stuff on there that sells well. And just because people are using it, we don't want to take it away. So we're always continually adding here. But we don't want to add any more texture to this guy. We're just going to go ahead and edit this. So we're going to remove the welcome to and make it just look at like a sign. And so all I'm doing is clicking and I'm clicking delete on my keyboard. You'd also click the trash can that's right up there at the top. So right, we're just gonna double click again and change this to say green belt. And at the bottom, we'll say campground. Campground, perfect. Now we'll just resize this super easily just using our little box controls right here. You could also rotate. So for any online t-shirt designer, Easy View Online Designer just blows this out of the water. Um, when I first started here at Stalls Transfer Express, I was completely blown away that this is a free program. I mean, there are people who pay big subscriptions to use programs just like this one with how powerful it is and all of this artwork that you could use for your own t-shirt business for absolutely free. I'm talking nada, nothing, no beans, no nothing. It is just free. So let's set, scale this one down to fit onto our gang sheet and let's make it a uh, center chest size. So let's say it's, uh, yeah, 3.84 looks good. Let's just say four inches. And I have that aspect ratio locked. So it locks it to four inches. So we'll grab this guy and whoops, see it's ungrouped. And so let me show you that grouping tool. So just drag the box around everything, object, group, 
Now I'll do the same thing I did last time where I just grab it and drag just one element and it grabs the entire image and pulls it with us now. So we'll tuck that one right down there at the bottom. But say four inches by three inches is too big for a hat or a visor. I'm talking like the foam front trucker caps that you see traditionally screen printed. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that they have matching hats that could go along with these awesome trendy shirts. So all I'm gonna do is you could go object, duplicate with that object selected, and we have another one now. Now for hats, I don't recommend going any taller than about 2.2 inches. So just a little bit under two and a quarter inches, because that's gonna make sure on any hat press that you're gonna be able to do it and any hat, you are able to stay away from the brim of the hat and also the high crown where you start to get those creases. So you wanna stay away from that. Let's say just two inches high for this one. So it's gonna make it two by 2.52 and we'll tuck that one in right there. Now let's say that for these kids, if it's the pandemic and they need masks uh, to, 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 you know, to attend the summer camp um, or you know, whatever, uh, if it's anything like that, or maybe even towels or uh, if they're doing polos, let's say they're doing polos and they need a left chest graphic, but they want it fun and trendy. Let's go back over to the layouts. Now this is, now this is what I'm talking about with building value too, because now you're looking at we have three pieces of artwork for three separate products, but guess what? We're still only paying $4.77 per image. That's right, $4.77. Now we're getting three total prints. See where this is working out? And this is where you are going to maximize your profitability. Now, this is just one example for one customer where we're offering add-on sales for both the, you know, polos or the, uh, you know, the hat print for a visor or a trucker cap and a full front print. Now, this could go on any color of apparel that you want. I just chose navy for the background. But if you're like, uh, you know, you want, they say, well, we want red. There's a red, the red team and a blue team. So they go, we want, we have burgundy shirts uh, that we want printed. And we also want the navy ones. So right here, easily select the background color over to burgundy and bam, just as easy as that. You could show them proofs like this. But let's get back to designing. Liz, are we doing good on questions? We are doing pretty good. Um, I did answer one question, but I'm going to bring it up very quickly. Um, Sandra, about determining the size of your image when you have different size t-shirts. I did reply to her, but I know this is a very common um, question when you're um, putting pulling designs in the design center. Absolutely. And there's a several different ways that you could do it. Um, usually we say about 11 inches wide for a full front. Um, is really kind of maxing that out. This one uh, at, what did we say this one was? 9.77 is just in that 10 inch range. So think about it. That's about right here on me. So that is still a large graphic. 11 inches puts it out just a little bit wider. But 9.77 is going to be the perfect size for both youth and adults, where it's not going to look too large on youths or not fit because then you're hitting in the seams of the garment. Um, and for adults, it's also a nice large size, so it doesn't look like a, a tiny little youth print here. Uh, what you're traditionally going to do is not size anything differently for different sizes, but the garments that you're decorating on. So t-shirts are pretty limitless, crew neck sweatshirts limitless. When you start talking about hoodies, which is what we're going to be doing later, then you start running into restrictions where you're looking at uh, maybe you want to stop at that 11 inches because then you're going to start interfering with that that uh, the kangaroo pocket, the pocket seam on the front. Uh, and you don't want to be printing near that because then you're going to have transfer uh, kind of you're going to have issues heat pressing that with your pressure variance. So you want to stay away from those seams as well as you can. But our uh, our session later on printing on hoodies, we're going to cover how you could get around that with some helpful tips um, for a left chest. I usually say no larger than four or four and a half inches, depending on the artwork uh, for sleeve prints. Uh, if you're just doing a short sleeve sleeve prints, I'd say about the same thing, three and a half to four inches, not too wide uh, for back prints, any size that you want. But if you actually head over to the Transfer Express uh, YouTube channel, we have an entire video on just image sizing and how you could mock them up with just tools you have laying around with just like a piece of paper, fold it up, measure it to size, lay it on a t-shirt and see how it looks. But I wanna get back to this here because I see that we are running out of time, but thank you, Liz. That is an awesome, awesome question. 
Um, and uh, yeah, keep them, keep them coming. Uh, we're going to try to get to as many as we can. Um, I know I'm, I'm getting down to what? Uh, yeah, just about 10 minutes left. So let's add layout. Let's do this outdoors and s'mores one. So this is one that we will just pull in here. We'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so it fits again in that four inch by four inch range. So let's just go over here to the transform controls and I made it four inches again. Let's change all of this over to white. Now, this is really, really cool because we're going to go in and kind of pull this little graham cracker apart. So we're going to grab onto this. So the no ink color here, we're going to change over to maize. <clears throat> now we saw that the marshmallow turned over as well. So that's just one more step to ungroup. And we'll go ahead and grab that marshmallow in the middle and we're going to turn it to be white. And then the rest of this. I think we could go ahead and we'll change all of this white over to no ink. Oh, and I grabbed the inside too. So we're gonna need that one back. And that's no ink, let's change this back to white. So essentially, there we go. We've completely recreated this gang sheet. Now, one thing that we can do, like I mentioned earlier, is now we could order our transfers. Now this is one, two, three, four different pieces of artwork now for just 477. So for what, just like a buck 15 or something, you are, or uh, sorry, <clears throat> yeah, like a buck 15, a buck 25, you are getting each one of these prints. So this is how you are reducing your print cost. And now you're selling all of these items with uh, a dollar decor, just over a dollar decoration on every single one. So a uh, really, really cool way to save money. But say that you are like, well, I want to talk about, let's talk about uh, using, using this mocked up and showing our customers a shirt. So we have everything configured here on the right-hand side, excuse me. <coughs> and we're going to go down here to the bottom right, right below our, all of our cost information, when the transfer shipping, how much it costs, and go here to our apparel share. So apparel share is going to bring up all of these apparel options right on here on the left-hand side. So you could say, yeah, I want a Gildan 5,000 and you can pick your color. So there's our red one, but let's look for a nice, is that a blue? Is that a blue? That's like a little indigo kind of guy. Um, I passed the blue up right up here. Is this a navy? That's a gray. My eyes are failing me here today. Um, but say, yeah, here's, a, here's another gray that we could use. Where's the navy? Is that a navy? Did I just, there we go. I didn't scroll far enough. So here we have our artwork, but this is our whole gang sheet. And we're like, wait, wait, wait a second. So we're going to back on out. And right here, we could say we just want to mock up our center chest graphic. So we're going to grab this and we're going to click on selection only. So there's a little drop down arrow. You could use entire design or just selection. So let's say selection only. Here we go. Back where we were with the 5,000. We say, I'd rather be camping at Greenbelt Campground right here on the front. Now you say this says easy prints and this watermark is huge. You could change this to your own business name. So say it's it's Dave's Tees. Just go ahead and put that in there and update it here as well. I don't know why it's not letting me update that. Um, there we go. Dave's Tees, updated right there and you have your own watermark. Really, really cool to use. Now say you go sold, Gildan 5,000, you go look here and it tells you your price bulk blank per shirt. So say this is, we need 25 large, we need, uh, or no, we only need 36 pieces. So let's say it's 10, uh, 10, 10, and six. So we have all of our apparel in there right there. We know it's 6240 for all of our apparel options. We can look at uh, what we're paying in there and we could just exit back out. We could view the details of our print cost, and that's it. We could add it all to our cart, all check out with a total price of 234. Now we're saying, uh, let's just do some quick math here. Um, let's pull our calculator up, and let's say we did 36 times, what do we say those are selling for? Like 15 bucks a piece. So 540 bucks, you're making, you're making a ton of money on an order like this. And that's charging cost times two. Now let's say that they said, you know, you have that wiggle room that you're already making a whole bunch of profit. So uh, 540 minus our total print cost here, just real quick. And this is all just quick, exact, not exact, but just estimates. That's 306 now. Now this is 
I, I did this entire order in less than 40 minutes as I'm walking through it with you, showing you all these features. And now I have a, essentially, after I print these t-shirts, I have $306 of pure profit in my wallet. If the customer says, mm, man, 15 bucks is a little too high, you could go ahead and bring that cost down because you know you already have tons of profit built in for you. So guys, starting a t-shirt business is a great opportunity and a great way to make money. Now, before I completely exit out of Easy View here and wrap up the session, I want to go one more step further. And that's just all I did was down here on the bottom hand, right hand side, <clears throat> I clicked done. So that brings me over here. It gives you one last checklist, tells you it's screen printed, goof proof transfers, what the transfer size is on our gang sheet. It shows us a preview of our whole gang sheet. Um, it is blue so that you could still see white show up on it. Um, we're using two colors, maize and white. Color changes uh, are an awesome way to save money. Um, I didn't get too much time to talk about them today, but essentially, uh, if this just needed to switch over, you wanted a version with yellow ink, uh, and then you also wanted a version where the yellow all turned to, say, purple or something, that's a way where you only pay 15 bucks and you don't have to do another order. We essentially just wash out the screen, put new ink in it, and print the rest of those transfers. So that's just $15 per color. Really easy to set up on that right-hand side menu. Um, this tells you how many sheets you're ordering, any order notes that you've put in there. You can say show invisible objects, and this shows you the outlines. If you're used to seeing that in Illustrator, just making sure there's no stray or errant uh, the, uh, the no ink areas as we will as we set them, just to make sure nothing is weird overlapping. So just to proof and make sure everything's looking good, tells you your final costing, and boom, right there, you could add it all to your cart. So Liz, before I exit easy view, do we have any questions that I could go back through? And uh, I know I covered everything super, super fast here, guys. Um, but is there any questions uh, about something specific that I could show somebody? Question from Justin. Do you have real-time inventory on your apparel? You betcha we do. And that is a hot topic now. I know personally myself, I go looking for like one style. I'm like, you know what? Sweet. Got them in stock. Uh, you know, let's go, uh, okay, the blacks are in stock, but I want something like Navy in this case. And you go to Navy and you're like, okay, cool, sweet, awesome. They got mediums, larges, smalls. We have it all in stock. Let me show you here at transferexpress.com real quick. Our wholesale apparel section makes it really super easy to browse. Um, so let's say we go to t-shirts. Let me just try to pull, uh, let's pull, yeah, uh, I was going to go Gildan 5000, but it's not right here on this first page. So we'll go Anvil 980, a very super popular t-shirt that you always see in stock. Boom, black, out of stock, XL, 2X. Um, and this is something that we've been seeing across the industry. We're all in a pinch here in shortages. I know for a few orders that I've done, you have to go searching for alternate styles and say, hey, I know you're set on that Anvil, but let me find you a comparable style. Maybe the Gildan 5000 has the blacks in stock. Um, hot tip for you friends joining us today, uh, district, a lot of district and a lot of next level is always locked in, in stock. And I really shouldn't be telling you that because I rely on that information so that I could service my customers. <laughs> so we can make sure that there's apparel going out the door. Um, but those are two styles that are stocked full of inventory. I know, uh, at impressions, I was at the impression show in Fort Worth talking with the next level representative who that was their main strategy. They knew that there was going to be some supply chain issues with raw materials coming in. And they absolutely wanted to make sure that they stock their most popular tea. Now, this is all real time. So you're able to see this in stock when you are ordering. So Justin, yes. Uh, Liz, I think we have time for one more question. Um, if, uh, if we've got one, I'd be happy to answer. Absolutely. From Allison, is there a way to save your artwork in a vector format to use for different orders such as promos? So yes, there is a way. So let me go back here. Um, and this is one of the biggest the biggest things that we could do here. So uh, back to my easy view online designer. And I think this might be one of the last ones. Do we have other questions while I'm navigating over to this? Um, Tony Scott, um, I have a design that has multiple colors. How do I go about choosing the right format? I did post a link on what transfer type to use when for him. So I'm not quite sure exactly what he's asking. So maybe you can help him. Yeah. So um, usually if you're going to be using one to two, three colors, I even like pushing it. I'll pay extra for that screen printed feel and ease of use with Goofproof because it still just applies 
four seconds, super hot peel, makes it really easy. So if you're doing one to three colors, select Goof Proof or uh, Laster Prints if you're doing the 100% polyester or any of those effectings. If you have more than three colors in your design, it is going to be more cost effective to use our Ultra Color Soft or Stretch product line. So those are going to be the full color transfers. I um, mean, those start at a, so our Goof Proof is a minimum of six quantity per sheet. Uh, so you could buy as low as six sheets, which is really cool. Um, and the ultra color goes at 20 minimum for individual images. But if you do the full gang sheet, it's also a six quantity. So uh, going back to the previous question, say we have this entire project. We don't want to order it just yet. Save job as. And then you just go here and you could say this is camping. Uh, 2021, and then you save your job. So this is how you could reference it when you come back to it at any time, pretty much ever. So then if you needed to, you could go up to right here at the top settings and you could say open job. Now this is all of our saved artwork here that you see goes back, back, back. Also, if you forgot to save it and you added it to cart, it's gonna be in previously added to cart right here. So all of this stuff is all savable and you could reference it again. The only thing is, is you cannot download SVGs from this. While it is a free design program that you could use to pitch your own artwork and even mock up your own apparel styles, uh, you know, we, we do keep it in so it's made to order transfers um, and not export cut ready art. I know we're working on trying to get it to work with CADWorks Live so that you could trade them back and forth, um, but that is still in the IT works. And we are right at 50 minutes. So um, Liz, do we got anything else I could cover really, really quick, a one minute, uh, one minute question to wrap up the session. Guys, if you leave some questions in the chat, we're going to try to get back to you. Um, and again, we have some more sessions coming up. Uh, Josh is about to cover uh, uploading artwork. So kind of in that same realm, he's right up after this. Uh, but Liz, is there anything else that I could answer real quick before we sign off today? We are fantastic, Dave. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you for, for helping everybody out today. Thank you guys so much for joining us here. Um, I hope that you have a good idea of what Easy View Online Designer could do for you and your t-shirt business and the level of profitability in there. Of course, check out uh, Transfer Express YouTube where we cover in depth, uh, sometimes a little bit longer than 50 minutes on all of this stuff. But thank you guys so much for attending. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hopefully I see a few of you come back at the seven o'clock where we're gonna be talking about printing more than just t-shirts uh, with the wonderful Jenna who did uh, some awesome classes earlier today. So until then, guys, happy pressing and thank you so much for hanging out with us today uh, at this uh, stalls, how to start a t-shirt business from home. Uh, live event. So take care. Happy pressing.